Hello again. Um, I found this little bit of programming interesting enough to want to share. What we're looking there is the watchdog the, uh, triggering on the far left LED. The watchdog is used for if your chip crashes or your program crashes, crashes it will restart the chip again. Um, when it, when the left one blinks, uh, it will it will let me know that it has restarted the the program. Let's get a little bit into the programming itself. That's the interesting part. Um, here is the program to to uh, run that that uh, that uh, watchdog thing, and I will leave a snippet of it on, on the website so you can. Um, uh, so you can try it out. Parts of it, it, it wasn't mentioned in the book. I actually had to, to, um, to uh, hack this out. Here's the assembly file. I made this delay watchdog timer ink file, and we're, we're going to look at it now. Excuse me, I'm working with my left hand, and it ain't. Uh, here is the macro. I uh, wrote a macro. And I will leave it uh, on the website, everything that you're seeing here. That's the macro, you really can't read it there. But that is called, by the little program you saw earlier, along with the delay 10 ASM file. Um, I give, I'm um, reading books from gulligum.com in the in United Kingdom. And those mentioned there, he doesn't show you how to how to use this method here of, of like modular assembly com com compiling. Th this is the this is the for like a timing loop, the, the delay file. To get it to work, and hopefully we will, um, if I can find the mouse, we go to the MP lab, we choose project, we want to add that file to the the delay 10 ASM file and now the project we're going to try and build this hopefully it will build so right now it's trying to compile the ASM file and it worked and the include file I will show you where I put it in the program the one we made earlier the here it is we include it uh, this is the one we built, delay wt that includes so the assembly can can find it. Then we use the programmer and uh here we can uh we can read it. And, and that would be this little chip down here that's in my hand built thing is a little uh twelve F five oh nine. And now we can uh open the file that we just compiled with MPLAM into a hex file and now we program it into the chip so that, that programming work fine the same code is in this chip here basically that's what I wanted to show because it's not shown in books it's kind of modular techniques for assembly language C follows the same pattern and uh, this is becoming quite entertaining I find it more enjoyable than uh, playing with uh, with the Quake 2 games I, I like to play. Uh, once you get into it, it gets kind of like addictive. You kind of uh, want to go back into it because you always have a problem. Sometimes things don't work and, uh, and sometimes it'll take me three days uh, to figure out a little thing as, as I learn how to program this thing. But the beautiful thing about it is later you can understand all the programs uh, uh, written in, uh, in, you know, Nuts and Volts magazines, or uh, you can actually build just about anything you want with one of these, from camera circuitry to to an automobile. Well, basically that's it. Uh, right here is uh, watchdog timer uh, triggers and recess the program what we have if I have any time left here to show uh, to
to show what it's actually doing the here's an endless loop so the program will run all the way down come to this loop and it'll cause the watchdog timer to to uh, time out and it will reset the program comes out of this loop and restarts watchdog timers and I have little delays little delays to um, to uh, shine the LEDs over and out